God makes available things for us based on three realities. Number one, God gives us things by grace. By grace, which means there are things he gives to us based on his love, his mercy, his kindness, his benevolence, his unconditional love. So he will make it available to you. You didn't pray for it before you realized it was happening. You didn't fast, it was happening. That is where a lot of people are deceived. That, ah, if I didn't fast and the thing is operating. In fact, I just woke up from a nice lady and, and, and the thing is still operating. You may be deceived. But if God gives you everything by his grace, you will be a sport child. If God gives you everything by grace, you will be a sport child. And God does not want to raise spoiled children. Hear me carefully. You check a child you give birth to. Everything he requires, you give it to the child. Your child is asking for a, a, a toy, you buy. He's asking for Spider-Man Jesse, you buy. He's asking for C. Ronaldo, you, you buy. He's asking for football, you buy. He's asking for generator, you buy. What is soon going to happen to the child is that the same thing you are buying for the child will be the reason the child will fail. The tablet you are buying for the child without control. The same thing that came to the child by grace will be the reason why the child will become a vagabond. So listen to me. There is an extent to which God gives us things by grace. I'm teaching mature people here. The second platform upon which God gives us things is that he gives us things by capacity. And watch this girl. Carry this one for me. Carry it. Now, have you realized it was easy for her to carry it? You know why? Because it's lightweight right her capacity can handle it right but if i put this monitor on this child's head what will happen child abuse i may end up in prison please are you following what i'm teaching it's a serious matter here so what happens is that i don't have a problem giving this girl this thing my problem is that she does not have the capacity to handle it thank you sweetheart you will preach the word of God. So hear me carefully. The Bible says in Proverbs 24 10, if thou fainted in the day of adversity, your strength is small. So which means adversity comes to prove what manner of man you are. Adversity only comes to prove the capacity you have built. Now you see, the strength of a building can only be proved by the wind and the storms so some of you the storms you are going through the reason why it is over overwhelming you is simply because the capacity to handle the storm was not built hear me carefully hear me god does not always give you what you want he gives you what you can carry some of you are asking for things that when god looks at your current capacity you only pray for five minutes you fast from 6 to 10 a.m. You read only one verse of the Bible for the week. Number three. God gives us things on the basis of faithfulness. You see, these are things the church has not understood. You are just saying that God has given us everything by his grace. Go and read your Bible again. He does not give everything by grace. He gives some things by capacity and he gives others by faithfulness. Listen to me. If you are faithful in little, you'll be faithful in much. So God will hand over great authority for you when you are faithful with the least he has given to you. If I'm not able to handle this number of people who are here and I'm ungrateful that God we started all night. We are supposed to have a full house. Why is the place not full? God, what is happening? Eh? I'm, I'm always praying, but we are not seeing results. God, how can you give me these people? What is happening is that you are getting ungrateful, and because you're ungrateful, you'll be unfaithful. Too many believers are operating from the realm of unfaithfulness. You know why? Because they've allowed jealousy and envy to destroy them. God opened my eyes into something, eh? man of God, and I was shocked that it was in the Bible. Do you know that the brothers of Je Joseph envied Joseph because he had a dream he saw that one star was being worshipped by 11 stars they were so envious of that one star that they forgot that they were stars and God shocked me here they didn't know their future that is why they envied in the book of Genesis 49 Jacob called all his sons and began to predict their future. When he came to Judah, he said to Judah, he says that the scepter shall not depart from Judah until Shiloh comes. Joseph was only a prime minister. Judah carried the Messiah and bet him. Who was greater, Joseph or Judah? But they were envious of their brother. Levi 
was actually the pastor in charge of the church. It is out of Levi the priests were coming. They were having Joseph, who was only a prime minister, forgetting that all priests will come from the wombs of Levi. You are envying people for nothing. You are jealous for nothing. If you know your future, if you have a picture of your future, when you see others progressing, you will not be worried because you know God is timing you. God is taking you through a process. God is building you. He has a plan for your life. The fact that things are not working does not mean he has forgotten you. The fact that things are not working does not mean that God does not have a plan for you. God has a plan for you. Isaac wouldn't have envied Joseph because Isaac was gifted with understanding the times and the seasons. Before they went for war, they had to inquire from Isaac. Before they took a major decision, they had to inquire from Isaac. Dan, he says, a troop shall overcome you. But he says something. He says, if you what? At last, you will overcome. That means that Dan, God had the overcoming anointing, which means no matter how down God is, he will come out again. Which means he had the grace to come out of big situations. He shouldn't have envied Joseph. The tribe of Benjamin were good in war. Most of them were left-handed people. When they are holding Okotai and they swing it, no matter where you are, it will locate your head. So they were skillful in war. So Obiani Nidia, different abilities. So listen to me. What you are supposed to be doing is to be faithful with what God has given to you. Listen to me. With God, there is nothing like little. We see little. He doesn't see little. You may pastor a congregation of 50 members. To God, you are a mighty man. A man may pastor 5,000 people, but God never discovered him. If you are in the wrong direction, speed is not an advantage. So there are people who are on the road going speed. They are supposed to be on Tamale Road, but they are on Kumasi Road. At that time, speed is not an advantage for them. So there are people, oh my goodness, can you imagine? There are people you are envying meanwhile they are in the wrong direction. Can you imagine if you were envying Jonah?